the natural killer cell um, producing from the thymus. When people depress, fear, frighten, the thymus can shrink down very small. And they don't produce And the killer cell can kill cancer and the um, tumors and the um, virus, also virus also. For me, I'm, I'm very, very clear that I have a very strong against the virus, like cold, flu. And I don't have it for a long, long time. I don't know how, many, how long, I don't know. It's very hard to get cold or get flu for me. So that means the Qigong practice and the meditation practice are very strong against the uh, virus. Okay? So um, the people that study with me, I said, if you do it right, number one you're going to get is you don't catch cold. Yeah. Flu or cold, you not, should not get it. So that means um, the qi actually activate them. And uh, I think the circulation are better also. And uh, when you work a lot in the heart, opening the heart, is the heart center here, opening. So it's have the training a lot of killer cells. The big problem of people have a lot of tumors is because the killer cell don't work. The killer cell don't work. And the killer cell, the one that boosts boost the, um, they have the vitamin boosting the killer cell is the rice soup that you eat in the, in the evening. The rice soup and the mushroom, kitachin mushroom that you have the black mushroom, the two things. But they make it for their, very expensive also. But they make it into peel and you take them. It, it boosts up the killer cell. Okay? But if your thymus scan don't work, <laughs> it's, the, 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 it's not going to be. So laughing and feeling joy and happy, forgiveness, like forget, forgive, and let go. That is very important. Because the other one is stuck in the heart here. Kill the cell. It's good to look at them and smile to them. You, know? you, you think you cannot see them, but you, if you look at them and you close the eye, you picture the killer cell and you smile to it, you're in touch with it. They have weekend connecting with the people. You see? Like we have a cellular telephone, wherever I go, people can call me anywhere. And that is if you have the right frequency. You get it. So the picture of the killer cell is like a frequency. Like I always like to look at the NASA space picture, and some of them is 300 million years away, or some of them is uh, 400, 600 million years away, in which you never can see them. Okay, but when I see them, I close my eye, boom! I picture them, boom! I feel them; they're hitting me. So how can I do that? How can it happen that way? How can I see the star which is 300 million light years away? Okay? But I see them immediately, I feel boom, the energy hit me. Because when you see them, you make connection. And that's how God works that way. God works with the system of God, it works. Who, who knows where is God? And that's why they said, we say God, because nobody knows where is God. You know? <laughs> okay. And we can feel the God, but we don't know where is God. <laughs> so the killer cell, very interesting, if you look at it and you smile, and you picture them, you, it actually, in fact, is in our body, and you see them, and you make connection with it, and you talk to them. Every cell has a life. Every cell has a life. Okay? And this is another white blood cell. There are many feet and the antigens. Okay? It look, I tell you, all the white blood cells look really ugly. They are they're built to kill. <laughs> That's it. I mean, they, but they have intelligence, know who is enemy and who is not enemy. You know, sometimes you walk, uh, you see the policeman with gun, with bomb, everything, you know. You know? And uh, so, um, at least, oh, <laughs> in my side. <laughs> you know? And, uh, that, that is good that they don't kill our own people, you know. Otherwise, uh, we get big trouble, and that will be called autoimmune system failure. 
So the white blood cells are attacking our own cells and eating all the other cells, blood cells. The most common thing now is a horrible. When I in, a, in San Francisco this time, and they said they do a lot. They do a lot in San Francisco. Okay? And I mean in America now. When people have autoimmune system failure, white blood cell, and attack the red blood, red blood cell. And there is something wrong in the bone marrow. So the way they do is they go and take a stem cell out, and they go into chemotherapy and kill all the bone marrow. Kill them all. And including all the white blood cells, kill them all. And after that, put back the, uh, the stem cell into the bone marrow, and it grows. But it takes 10 days. So within 10 days, the guy cannot catch a cold. If you catch a cold, you're gone. So it's very complicated now. I mean, in 10 days, you cannot infection, you cannot catch a cold, you cannot get a flu, you cannot eat something wrong because the whole body no defense system. So if you can pass 10 days and the body build up the bone marrow and it's and it producing a good white blood cell again, but they said a tendency go back again in one year. Some people go back again. And attack again, and you go and kill them all and put the <laughs> stem cell back. So that is the white blood cell is a very uh, amazing uh, cell. And this is the stem cell. And um, it's amazing cells because it can turn to be any cell. And it can turn to be any immune system. When you need it, call the stem cell to help, and they're making a new white blood cell to fight the disease. Okay? They are in the bone, in the, in the bone also. But the Tao believe that also um, when we split the embryo cell, eight, and another eight, so when we have eight and you split to 16, the body put aside another eight on a side. It's the original embryo cells. So the dad believe that this is the immortal cells. If we can take that one on and rebuild the body again. So we call it the immortal one. It come from the, the eight stem, uh, embryo cell never do anything. So the, the eight set developed to a human. Another eight is just remain there. And it called an embryo cell. So that's why the embryo cell now is a big research. But the, the American not allowed to do it. They only allow the stem cell. Because if they do the embryo cell, you can do a lot of things. If you get, um, uh, you get um, abortion of six weeks, and you have a lot of embryo cell. And each cell can create a human. So if you eight weeks, you maybe have a few million. Uh, uh, because the six week is un undifferentiated. No differentiate in six weeks. So each one can become a whole body. So you take an uh, embryo cell mixing with an egg, you're creating a human. You take another embryo cell and putting in an egg, you're creating another human. So one embryo cell, you can create a million. That's what in, a, in the future they may be creating a soldier. So you have a very good soldier, you get the, the sperm and mix and come up to the embryo. And waiting for six weeks, it grow up to maybe uh, 100 million. And you get that embryo, 100 million, and you take each one, one, you can grow the same, uh, same very good intelligent and very good soldier for 10 million soldier. It's the same. Okay? Creating the, exactly the same. That's why it's so powerful. And that's why the uh, Bush said no. You cannot do that. You cannot put an a embryo cell into a woman womb. Yeah. You cannot put in a woman egg in there. Otherwise, you're creating from one embryo, uh, from embryo cell, you can create the same human, many of them. The immune system has a long projection that moves itself to infection. It looks very like monster, huh? like aliens. <laughs> It's really ugly, <laughs> but, uh, and that is how our soldier, you know. It don't look nice, but it's cute. 
and this is the um, the ND, the B lymphocyte, the antibody. The antibody is very, it has many programs in there. So some of them have so many programs in there because all the, all the chemistry that we use to kill, overcome any germ virus is memorized in the B, B lymphocyte. So when I encounter any bacteria or germ, immediately it's, oh, I have the formula. <laughs> so it's creating the chemistry and inject into the bacteria and die. But if you have a new thing, we die. We don't know. The body don't know. And they cannot prepare to make a war. So that's why um, the uh, bird flu is a new virus. And the body don't know what to do with it. Okay? And uh, many other things now, the new thing, the body don't know what to do. Like the SAR also, the body don't know what to do. It's a new thing. So that is fighting with the bacteria. So the bacteria is there, you see. This bacteria. Bacteria is smaller. But if you have, uh, so, you have so many overcome, so the, the end can kill, uh, kill an elephant. So the small, small, and small bacteria it kill the, the white blood cell. So that's why we have to have twin and have a lot. And this is the, um, creating the antibody. And uh, sometimes the antibody like molecule, and they can, can creating and protecting the body. So all these things is very interesting to see and to meditate and to see and enhance them. So that is the, uh, how they're fighting the war. There's, you know, there's so many bacteria, so many germs, so many virus all around us everywhere. You open the mouth, the food, everything you eat in, it goes into the body. And our body has to fight them. So the first defense is in the saliva. If you chew well and get a saliva, you get a good first defense system. The bone marrow. The bone marrow producing all the red and white blood cells and the stem cell. So the first thing, let's rub the sacrum. Rub your sacrum. And you focus and meditation on the sacrum. Sacrum control all the bones and the, and the immune system. Kidney. Kidney, sacrum producing all the bone, uh, controlling the production of the blood vessel, the blood, I uh, mean the, uh, the red blood cell and white blood cell. The kidney control them also. Okay? It's a hormone. So if you rub the sacrum and rub the kidney, and anything, so you're going to see any infection if you work on the sacrum, it will help you overcome infection very fast. So if you focus and you think your sacrum and so and sacrum breathing, so and sacrum breathing, inhale, and exhale, so and sacrum breathing. Sacrum control all the bones, so it's just have to be, have to be understand that part, okay? And the next one, the hip bone. We have many bones when we are baby, all this bone producing red and white blood cell and the stem cell, okay? But when we grow up, the leg become hollow. The head, some of them left, the head left some of the bone marrow and put, still producing. But the biggest producing that in the body have is the hip bone. The hip bone have the most, um, have the most bone marrow than other parts of the body when you grow up. So if you hit them, and very good with the bamboo heater. Okay, they have bamboo heater, you hit it, because the bamboo, very similar like the bone, hollow, and the sound of it hit, and it stimulates the bone marrow. That's why it's good to hit the whole body with the bamboo heater. So you touch the sacrum until the energy go up to the whole spine. And after that, you touch on the, um, and the sacrum breathing until the cheese go up to the whole spine and the kidney. Okay? And you touch the hip bone. And smiling, funny, laughing, happy bone. Okay? So, <laughs> focus your smiling and laughing to your bone. <laughs> smiling, funny, laughing, happy bone. Okay? And we move up to the femur bone. So, the femur bone 
So you are think the bone are smiling, funny, laughing, happy bone inside you. Feel my bone. <laughs> and the humerus bone, your your arm bone, and the rib cage. The rib cage, you touch on the rib cage. Rib cage have many bone, and they all connecting to the sternum. So you touch here and smiling, funny, laughing, happy sternum. <laughs> Focus your smiling and laughing into the bone. <laughs> and feel the chi spread from the sternum all to the rib cage. Okay? And um, we come up to the thymus now. This one, sometimes I give you the whole set. But when you're actually doing that, sometimes you choose a few only. Okay? Like the sacrum, the hip, is, will help to, and the sternum, will help tremendously in the infection. Okay? If you understand it, this is the production. This is the one that's producing the soldier. And we go back to, uh, we go into the next one, is the training camp. Okay? The training camp we have, Thymus. So now we come to the thymus. So, um, so all the lymphatic system is a training camp. It's um, where the soldier will, after they train, they will stay. And um, when you have invader, they come and fight. And that's what the soldiers are. But nowadays, because we have so many infections and so many bacteria, the soldiers are so tired. They're very tired because uh, sometimes they just keep on fighting <laughs> and um, every day, you know, non-stop fighting. So when we get a very high fever, we get a very big war. And you get a very, very high fever, you get a war war, you know. So, and and uh, you either win the war or you lose the war. <laughs> and that is the war. Okay, so you touch on the top of the sternum here. And that is the, um, so we involve with the lymphatic system and the, um, the thymus, together with the thyroid and parathyroid, control all the immune system. Okay, controlling all the immune system. So you touch it and you're laughing. <laughs> when you laugh, you have to feel the sternum uh, vibration. <laughs> the sternum vibration, and it really activate the thymus. So that's why when you laugh enough, you don't get sick easily, okay? And the tonsil. The tonsil actually is, tonsil together with the salivary gland is the first defense system, okay? I remember when I was small, I always infection, and the doctor said, cut it off. <laughs> and, uh, and my mother said, no, you know? Because every one or two weeks, I get an infection. When infection, because they fight the war. So you cut it off, they fight the war inside. You know? So you don't fight the first, this is the first line of defense system. You better fight the first line rather than fight the inside your body. So that's why the tonsil. So you touch here, smile to the tonsil. Now, the mid eyebrow, or we call the pituitary gland, we call the master gland also help immune system and the uh, hypothalamus gland and you have the limb node limb node on the side and the armpit when you cover it in the heat and you focus on it and you feel the chi flow into the limb node now the navel have tremendous limb nodes and the laughing is definitely help. <laughs> we call it inner laughing. <laughs> so this part I tell you, you need to teach the person to do it and you need to have them back home to do it. This is a very, very important homework that they have to do it and the gone area, okay, and the gone area. 
So you cover the groin area and smile and feel it activate. And we complete the immune system and defense system. Okay? And this is, I tell you, very powerful. Very powerful. If you have people, guide the people in, and especially they are in infection and cannot overcome, this one will help. It's a natural defense system. Okay?